The scourge of puppy mills is a nationwide crisis. The Humane Society of the United States estimates that as many as two to four million puppy mill dogs are sold every year. It really is a supply and demand issue. You know, too often people think, well, this is just me and I'll just get this one puppy, or they think they're rescuing a puppy from a pet store. And the reality is this is a business and you're not rescuing that puppy. You're simply opening up a cage for another puppy to be ordered up because as soon as that cage is empty, there's another puppy coming. It's, it's so important that people take strong consumer action, that they make a choice that they're not going to support puppy mills. Diana Foster, owner of Thin Schmidt German Shepherds, fears that licensed dog breeding facilities like hers could be mistakenly thought of as puppy mill operations. The puppy mill industry has really affected our business as well as other professional breeders as people really don't know who to weed out and we really have to gain their trust. The first thing I think that's very important is ask about the parents. You want to see them. You want to be able to touch them and pet them and see what her temperament is like. I think it's very important for the dogs to have a, a really good environment. They do need exercise and social interaction with other dogs as well as people. So that's very important, um, the environment that they're raised in. For puppy mill dogs, the journey through life is often tragic. But there's a happy ending for the 11 dogs rescued the day Caesar accompanied LCA. As far as all the dogs that we sent to the Brittany Foundation, two of them are still in foster homes, but the rest of all of them are in permanent homes. The six dogs that Caesar actually helped put into my truck have all been adopted and all have happy endings. One of them, Little Bit, uh, stayed with me. I fostered her for about three weeks. She had some extensive surgery done on her stomach because she'd given birth six times in her young life of three years. Kim, how are you today? I'm good. I'm Brought her to a protest, and Sharon Osborne was walking into the store to purchase a puppy. And I stopped her and I said, wait, you know, we have some puppies here today. And she said, let me see them. And I, and I showed her a little bit and she fell in love and, and it worked out. Hi, Caesar, it's Sharon Osborne. I want to thank you and Last Chance for Animals for rescuing Little Bit because she is now a new member of the Osborne family and we love her loads. Thank you. Look, she can't wait to get away. <laughs>